Hey everyone, here's a quick tutorial, uh, kind of a follow-up to the Flurry one on how to add RevMob to your app. You want to open up your uh, your app in Xcode, and you need to download the SDK from the RevMob site. It'll come in a zip file, so you just unzip it. Once you have it stored in a place you can find it, it will open up. Let's see, I put mine in RevMob, RevMob iOS. You want the RevMob adds dot framework, um, and make sure you copy the items into your destination groups folder, uh, and then add it. And there it is. I'm going to take and drag it into my frameworks folder because I like to keep it organized. Um, so there we have that. Now that you have that added, you want to open up your um, app delegate folder, I mean file, and you want to import, you can do it in, you can either import it in the H or the M file, um, I'm going to import it in the .h file, oops, uh, import, now this one here is not going to have um, quotation marks, it's going to have the brackets, it's going to be, uh, let me see here, rev mob adds, there it is. So you're going to import RevMob adds there, and you're going to go to the app delegate.m, and you're going to need to start your ad session when you when you uh, open up the app when you first start it. So that's going to be in um, the application did finish launching with options here. So I'm going to delete this bit here and put it right here. What you're going to do is go. Um, RevMob adds, put the bracket in, put RevMob adds, start session with app ID, and this is where you're going to put your app ID that you set up uh, on the web portal. When you set up your app on RevMob.com, it will give you an app ID that you'll copy and just paste in right here. Um, let's see here. And that's pretty much all you have to do to start it. Then to get it to show, for me, I like to show the full screen right when it first launches. And the place to do that is to find where is it? its application did become active right here. Um, this is where you're going to tell it to show the ad. Uh, and I want it to show a full screen, so you're going to put a bracket. You're going to say RevMob adds oops, session. Uh, then you're going to say show full screen. And that's all you have to do to get it to show a full screen. I like to cache the, um, the image so that, I think that's on this one, maybe that's chart boost. I think that's chart boost, okay. Yeah, never mind. Um, so pretty much anywhere you want to show a full screen ad, this is the line of code you use. You import the RevMob ads at the top of your either .h or .m file. You import this, then once you have that imported, you're just going to go to whichever place you want your ad to show, and you're going to put this line of code in. If you are interested in having or finding out about how to add the link or the button or notification or pop up or whatever their um, their other options are to do, you can do that by going to. I'll type that in here so you can see. You're going to go to sdk.revmob.com/ios.html. That's the address that you're going to want to go to right there uh, for the instructions. Basically, it tells you how to do what I just did, but then if you want to do the other stuff, that's where you'd find it. So, that's pretty much it. hope you found that useful, and I will get the chart boost one up and running next.